Good morning. Today I'm going to do a sunny summertime look that will last all day. And I picked out products that give me that summertime feel. And I was sure to pick products that I was confident that would last all day. Thank you and let's begin the look. With this look, I'm going to begin with the Victoria Beckham Primer. I'm going to focus on using all products that speak to me when I think of a summer makeup. Long lasting and sunny looking. Like I have spent a day at the beach or the pool or I'm well rested and been on vacation. So that's the Victoria Beckham Primer. I'm going to use the City Beauty Under Eye Recovery. I like this eye cream because I can use it both on the top and on the lids and underneath without any problems. I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Creamy Concealer in the color 29N as my eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to use a Sephora concealer brush to blend that in. This concealer is, you know, a shape tape and it is, I do not find, I find that it is more friendly towards mature eye areas than the original shape tape. Although I still feel the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind is better for my under eye area. I would say the original Shape Tape is good for your 20s and the Shape Tape Creamy is better for your 30s. <laughs> all right, there. Now I have that all smoothed out. I'm gonna use my Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. And I'm going to make a very sunny look. I like Natasha Denona eyeshadows because they're very, they make creating a look simple. They blend, they're very blendable and they don't blend away. I'm going to take the first color, Jasper. and put it on the transition area. I would call it the crease, but I actually put what most people call the crease color above my crease. So like I said, my look, my, my thought process is a sunny, summery, well-rested look. At the end of this, I'm going to share a, a summer outfit that I think is screen summer and comfortable and um, eating outdoors. You know, if you went to one of those restaurants that has great outdoor dining. Not because they have to, but because they want to. <laughs> Alright, so I'm through with the Jasper, running that along my, my brow bone. Now I'm going to go into my Saint palette, and I'm going to take the color Trust, and I'm going to work on my eyebrows. This is a new palette that I picked up, that I ordered from Saint. I... I am subscribed to Harmonized Beauty on YouTube, and I also watch her on Instagram. And my curiosity, because she does so many makeup looks 
well, that's the only makeup look she does, is with the Saint products. She does makeup looks with the Saint products and hair looks with the Aveda products. So I have purchased Aveda on her recommendation. And some of them I'm quite pleased with. And have repurchased. So therefore, I filled out her form for getting color matched for the Saint Foundation. And I did I used the tool on the website called Palette Builder and built this palette that I'm using. And this is the color Trust. And the reason I picked this color is because I've seen her use it in her looks. And she's got blonde hair. So it was a rich, rich color for brows. But I figured since it wasn't too much for her with her blonde hair that I could get by with it too. This is the palette that I picked out. This is the color Sandy, which is I, which I use for my foundation. This is the color Frenchy, which I use on my lips. This is the color Black Cherry, which I use on my lips and cheeks. Trust in my brows and Bubba in my crease. I'm going to pull out my got to be today. Actually, I'm going to pull out the 24-hour brow setter because I have found, I don't know what the difference between this and the got to be is. This doesn't hold your brows as stiff as the got to be, but I feel like my brow color lasts longer, is more durable. The got to be is a hair gel by Schwarzkopf that supposedly went viral on TikTok. I'm not sure where I saw. I think I saw somebody doing a makeup look on their Insta stories on Instagram and mentioned that they had seen it on TikTok. So I, I've tried it. So I do like the uh, got to be, it's got to be glued, got to be glued. I do like it. I do like how strong it is holding your brows, but I don't think that it actually keeps the brows from disappearing from where, wherever they go. I don't know where, where brows go when they disappear. Does your face eat them? All right, I'm gonna use the color. I'm gonna use a bright yellow. The color is, I think it's citrine. I'll use that on my lid. So like I said, I'm going to wear an outfit today that screams summer. It's the outfit itself is from Billabong, which definitely screams summer, right? I guess the brand Billabong has a, a nostalgic feel to it for me because my older son was a surfer or is a surfer he he doesn't get to surf as much now because he's a because he has to earn a living he doesn't have as much time to to play as he once did i'm taking the color clove and putting that on the outside corner the birds are starting to wake up it is 6:15. 6.15 a.m. That's the beauty of doing a recorded makeup look versus a live makeup look is I don't have to hang out all morning waiting until normal human beings are awake. I wake up super early. I think I've had trouble sleeping since I was a child. I remember getting up when I was even a child and sitting quietly on the sofa waiting for, you know, even the networks hadn't come on yet. There was nothing but, you know, the American flag waving <laughs> when I woke up. 
So I've been an early riser of all my life. So I'm trying to embrace it and make the most of it now. I'm taking my original brush and softening the outside corner. There we go. I have gone ahead and admitted defeat with the Huda liquid liquid this double-ended liner by Huda I've gone ahead and admitted defeat with the liquid portion and I'm going to just use the pencil portion to darken my lash line and I'm I'm concentrating it on my tight line I'm, I'm going to put just a tad on the top on the outside like that. So there's with the tight line and without the tight line. So I have to run some errands today. Pat's coming home this afternoon. He's been in Bluffton, I believe. I kiddingly remark when he goes out of town that he's visiting his other family. As far as I know, he doesn't really have another family. As far as I know. He may. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take a sparkly color. I'm going to take the color Agate, which is still from this palette, and I'm going to wet it. This is my Morphe spray. I think it was done in collaboration with Jeffree Star. Put that there. So where I was going with running errands and Pat coming back in town, I'm going to go pick up a few things so that he doesn't have to, so he doesn't feel obligated to turn around and go back out as soon as he gets here to get the things that we're running low on. All right, let's do those eyelashes. So... I ha I it was quite challenged with the liquid portion of the Huda double-ended eyeliner. But in contrast, I really enjoy the mascara. So with that said, I'm going to pull that out. And I'm going to use the volume, volumizing and lengthening side first, which has got a straight brush on it. It's going to be really pretty. The, the black, it's a very black mascara and it's going to be really pretty with the backdrop of that bright lid color that I used. And you have to be a little more careful if you curl your lashes when you go to put your mascara on because it they're more apt to dot your lids. Alright, that's with and without. So with the Sephora sale going on, I've started thinking about some things that I actually do need. I'm running out of dry shampoo. Uh, I think Barbara said her dr favorite dry shampoo is from Orbe. My favorite dry shampoo is this one. And it is, it, it's got, I think it's got one one use left. I use it all the time. I don't wait till my hair gets dirty to use it. I use it all the time for volumizing. Loves it. And I used it today for dirty hair. 
my hair is dirty today. I had Melissa mention yesterday in the live that she has problems with her tight line transferring to her bottom line. And I am looking now at my bottom water line. And it is, in fact, got some transfer from the top. So if I were planning on doing a, a brightening pencil on the water line on the bottom, it would get all dirty and, and gray. All right, I'm going to let that sit. And then we'll go on to the foundation. I'm going to use the Natasha. This particular foundation has shaker beads in it. It's the Natasha Denona X Plus foundation. I'm assuming since it has shaker beads in it, that they intend you to shake it. So my intention when I do foundation is never is never to see how little I can put on. And see, my chest is pretty dark. That gloss on my chest is from a product that's launching from City Beauty in May. So keep your eyes, keep your eyes peeled for that. It's, I, I think it's an awesome product. It's really pretty on the skin. I have it on my shoulders too. But back to the foundation. I never, my intention is never to see how little I can put on. My intentions are to make my skin look even toned. I guess I want to look healthy. I don't want it to be blotchy. I want it to be smooth, evenly distributed. I want it to be a pretty, I want the tone to be pretty. I want my foundation to be pretty. That is my intentions when I put on foundation. It's not to see how naked I could look. It's not to block the sun. It's not to allow freckles to show through. Alright, and I used a damp beauty blender. And the back end of it is kind of dried out. So I'm going to use the front end, front end of it now. The Natasha Denona foundation. I'm gonna full full coverage. Does it say anything about long wear? I don't know. It's fond de taunt. I don't know if it says anything about long wear. I find that it is long wear. Okay, I keep working to make sure it's it's flawless that it doesn't look that I didn't get the coverage blocked in one place and not in another now I'm going to use under eye concealer let's see if I have something different I'm going to use the dose of colors today and I have the color 11 and like I said the Tart creamy is still a little too the sharp tape shape tape is still a little too drying for my under eyes. So this is number eleven in the I don't know what they're what they call theirs. Oh, meet your hue, H U E. I knew they had a catchy little phrase. So while the camera was cooling off, I went ahead and used the curled in of the Legit Lashes, the curled brush. 
which is like this, and did my top and bottom lashes. So that's what we have there. I used under eye concealer under my eyes, and I used the dose of color Meet Your Hue in 11 underneath my eyes and down the center of my nose. Let's pick a, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless, uh, Airbrush Flawless Bronzer. No, it's Airbrush Bronzer. It has more words to it than that. I know, I know she couldn't end it just with two words. A matte bronzing filter. Anyway, I knew there were more words to it than that. So I'm going to warm up my face with this. I'm using this Real Techniques blush brush. Kohl's has it on sale for like five dollars and forty cents maybe it's quite a deal i know i've had this brush for probably 10 years and it has a silicone handle and my silicone handle did get sticky if you want a video on how to fix the silicone palettes or brush handles that you have give me a thumbs up and put it in the comments and I'll do a video on how I fix that so I've warmed up my complexion with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer and the color that I have is number two I'm going to use the airbrush flawless powder mine is down to the dibby dab and I'm going to crisp up the bronzer or contour where I got it too low down here and go to the center of my face so it doesn't look greasy all right I'm going to, I am enjoying this Huda 3D highlighter palette. I have to hold it this way, otherwise you can't see it. And it's got, let's see, where is my highlighter brush? Here it is. It's got a cream. The first one in the palette is a cream and it's called Capri. I'm going to put that up here. Then I'm going to take the Santorini and do it a little bit above there. Then I'm going to take the Azores. Azores. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's the champagne -y gold one. We'll put that underneath. And then I'm going to take the Ibiza, which is the pinkier one. This particular palette is called Pink Sands. And I'm going to put that right on top. Right in the center. Alright. Then I'm going to need... I'm not finding that to be enough blush color for me. So I'm going to go into my Viseart Rose Coral Palette. And I'm going to take the middle one from the coral side. And hit right under my eyeball and up, up a little high to give me a... I've been in the sun look. See what I'm saying? And a little across the nose.
let's do a lip. I am going to condition my lips first with the Huda Diamond Balm. There, now you can see what it looks like. This camera is much better than the one on my phone. And it does leave a little bit of marker sparkle on your, on your lips. But that was the conditioning portion of the, of the look. Now I'm going to line with Ideal. Our weather here has been so beautiful this week. Okay, that right there is a look in of itself. Just the lip conditioner and the lip pencil. So I'm going to take the color License to Love by NARS. And put that on like that. I do not have on earrings today. It turns out that my ears don't like any earrings at all. Even the ones that are for ultra, ultra sensitive ears. So here's the look. I'm going to zhuzh my hair. It's it's so dirty that it it won't be zhuzhed. This is my dry shampoo. Thank you so much for joining me today. I enjoyed all of my time that I spend with you. I especially enjoy the time I spend with you on my lives. I hope you'll understand my not going live today, but I look forward to chatting with you in the comments about this look and about anything that you're planning on picking up from the Sephora sale. Y'all have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Ta-ta!